What is the crack, everybody? My name is Jagger Potato. Sorry about not putting any videos up last week. I just took a wee notion, and I've been posting videos quite constantly, two videos a week, quite constantly for a while. So I just decided to take a wee day off and just chill out. A couple of weeks ago, Clee Clark and Butterbean put up some videos talking about homosexuality. Those videos were very orientated, talking about what the Bible says on homosexuality and things like that, and that being homosexual isn't. It's still a sin, but every sin's equal, so you're not ready to judge them. Which was very good, I enjoyed both videos. My video, however, is going to be talking about my personal beliefs regarding homosexuality. The main kicker, the main fighting point between Christians and homosexuals, gay marriage. So before I start this video, I'm just going to say straight off the bat that personally, I don't condone gay marriage, okay? gay marriage, but I'll get into that a little later on. So as Clee Clark and Butterbean said in their videos, homosexuality is wrong according to the Bible. The Bible says that no two men should lie together and that's where a lot of Christians somehow translate that into a reason to hate gay people or to verbally attack gay people. You may not think, you watching this, if you're a Christian, you may not think that I don't do this, but there are Christians in the world who do, which is completely insane because Christians aren't really meant to do that. Christians will go out and have full rallies about gay people and what they're doing is wrong and they will actually disrupt their own gay rights parades just because they see them as wrong. But the question I have for you is, is it actually wrong? The Bible does say that being gay is wrong, but does that mean that we should hate them? Far from the point, actually. When Jesus came, he said he is a new covenant for us, which pretty much means that he took a lot of the rules from the Old Testament, scrambled them up and threw them in the bin. While I still say that gay marriage is wrong, this is going to be the kicker, so please don't click off the video at this point. While I think gay marriage is wrong, I still believe that they have a right to some sort of, well, not marriage, but marriage. Not the word and not the, the philosophy behind it. Marriage is something done in front of God. So if God sees being gay as wrong, then they shouldn't really be married. But let's really look at that, what it means to be married. Being married is coming in front of God and saying, look, I will love this person for the rest of my life. I will cherish them, I will never cheat on them, I will never give them a reason to mistrust me, I will be forever faithful to this person. And then, what comes along with that is the permission to have sex and whatnot with that person, because that's what we have to wait for. We have to wait to be married so that we have a lifelong bond with that person before we have sex. Simple as that. I had a discussion with my girlfriend about this, and she was the one that said that. She said that marriage is a bond and a, and a promise to God saying you will love the person that's standing in front of you for the rest of your life. So then with that thought in mind, is it really wrong for a gay person to get married? Yes, the act of having sexual intercourse with another man is sinful. They feel that they love this person enough that they want to come in front of God and say, look, I'm going to love this person for the rest of my life. That is what I believe. I believe that a gay person should still have the right to be married, but in a different form, in a different word or a different meaning. Because marriage is between a man and a woman. It's a promise between a man and a woman that they will love each other for the rest of their lives. And then the permission to have sex comes along after that. If every sin is equal, then why should they not be forgiven? Why should a gay person not be forgiven if a murderer is then allowed to become a Christian once they come out of jail? Something like that baffles my mind. And the fact that Christians, not saying people, the Christians are watching this, do this or feel this way, because I would hope that you wouldn't. The fact that Christians actually go out and physically, not physically, but verbally attack and abuse these people that are still human beings is horrifying. Jesus taught us to love our neighbours. Jesus taught us to love our fellow man. But yet, because they commit one sin, we are to hate them for the rest of their lives? Yet, a murderer can come out of jail, say that he's a Christian, and we instantly forgive him. There are people who have gay or, well, homosexual feelings towards another person. 
but they still say that they are Christian. The Bible does say, yes, that having gay sex is wrong. That's what they say is wrong. If they can somehow hold off that feelings, then there's no reason why they shouldn't be a Christian. If a murderer can be a Christian, then why can't a gay person? I'm going to leave you this thought. Just because we condemn the act of being gay, should we condemn that person? Just because they are gay does not mean that we should condemn them. We should not hate them. We should invite them to church. We should open our arms to them. We should show them that not all Christians are people that attack and abuse others. And in regards to the gay marriage, why are two straight people allowed to get married but then get a divorce maybe four months later? In fact, to that point, I seen a picture on Reddit and it's shown Russell Brand and Katy Perry. Married for four months, divorced. Shown a picture of, I can't remember who it was. Married for six months, now divorced. It's shown a picture of Barney, um, the actor who plays Barney, obviously. If you didn't know, he's gay. It's shown him and his partner. They've been together for 14 years. It's strange that straight people are allowed to get married but then get divorced four months later and that scene is okay but gay people they aren't. As I said I don't condole gay marriage because marriage is a thing between man and woman but I don't see any reason why there shouldn't be something between man, man, woman, woman. They feel that civil partnership isn't a strong enough bond. If they want to come in front of God and say look I promise to love this person for the rest of my life then there's no reason why they shouldn't be allowed. No reason. And there should be no reason why they shouldn't be allowed to adopt. That seems to be another problem as well. People feel like gay people aren't allowed to adopt. But again, why is a man and a woman allowed to create a child and not love that child? Only use it to get more money from the government. That's a very serious problem over here in the UK at the minute. People are having children just for the fact of getting more money. They then don't love that child. They let that child do whatever they want. Then grows up to become a drug dealer or whatever. It's a very rare case that they don't. But then a gay couple could then raise a child to know the right things about life. That child may be even in fact become a Christian. If it's shown that Christians are nice people and ones that don't attack anybody just because of their orientation, their beliefs, their religion, the colour of their skin. That child could do whatever they it wants because it has a loving family. The last question I'm going to leave you all with is this. If a gay person walked up to you and asked you, tell me about the Bible. Would you say, no, you're gay, leave me, there's no hope? Or would you say, follow me and let me tell you a story? Guys, that topic is very controversial. I realize that. Hopefully, if you've got to this point, thank you so much for listening. Please don't unsubscribe. As a Christian, I have some very, very complex thoughts in my head. I have some beliefs that many Christians would not believe at all. For example, I believe God created the Big Bang. I believe in a form of evolution, which is like a survival of the fittest sort of deal. It's crazy. But as I said, Jesus taught us to love everybody. So why can't that include gays and homosexuals? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching the video. My name is Jack Potato. I'm a Christian, and I will see you all next time.